Welcome back to the Pack Chat, our student voice opinion segment. I'm your host, Millie Suarez, joined by co-hosts Austin Makaborski, Molly Pinkerton, and guest Michael Meraki as we discuss this week's most trending topics. Let's get started. First up, parents are suing the creators of Character AI for allegedly being responsible for their child's death. Freshman Sue Sutzler spelt months attached to his phone before committing suicide in early 2024. Even with the text at the bottom that essentially says everything the AI says is made up, he continued to express his feeling of self-hatred and suicide. Right before the event, the chatbot said, please come home. The parents took this exchange as coercing their son to commit this act. So should the parents be taking a different approach or would y'all do the same? Um, honestly, if like, in, as a, if I was a parent, I would probably try and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because like, I, that's yeah. my kid that's like gone now. But also, I yeah. feel like it's like not necessarily like AI's fault. It's like a mm -hmm. robot, Or the creator's fault, right? yeah. I don't even no, know a, how AI works, but yeah. I just like, like, yeah, like, suing them is going to get you some closure, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's just, like, not doing, like, as much as it, like, could really What do. I'll say is, um, yes, the AI at the very least knew about it and didn't do anything about it, and I feel that's a huge violation of the kind of safety rules that should be in place for AI. AI should protect human life at all costs, and especially a chatbot, which has developed a parasocial relationship like that, mm -hmm. It should have understand that there's a responsibility to try and prevent that thing from happening, especially if mm. the user is insinuated that they might commit suicide multiple times, and I feel that's negligence. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's because like AI is like such a new thing, like yeah. like no one really thought like that could happen. Like when I saw this, I was like, no way. But um, I think like the parents, like if you sue the company that like created this like where is what is that going to do you know i think yeah. like that and would do. they could no. like spread awareness like, i would say spreading yeah. awareness is probably what i, I would think do. that there should be a lot of i think suing the company would do some things like they would make protective measures against like maybe have age restrictions or like parental controls over ai to where it's like you get alerts whenever there's these yeah, harming but, like, maybe no so. one thinks it's going to be like harmful AI is like, everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, it's a joke, go give me answers. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for real. Because I didn't think anyone would use it to like make yeah. an imaginary girlfriend like he did. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah, a lot of people are, the line between reality and AI is getting blurred because, you know, we're all like sitting here and like, oh, well, it's, I, of course we know it's not real, but a lot of people are lonely and they spend a lot of their time on there developing those relationships with the AI that they feel understands them. And then it's just the lines blurred. And, mm -hmm. yeah. 